if you don't touch the controls, you should regain energy. I don't think that that's actually the case. I think that it did actually deplete. I think that it did actually deplete my, uh... I think that it did actually deplete my charge. Even when I wasn't touching it. I think it's probably because the carbon nanotubes are such a crappy source of power. I mean, fuel chamber generation is minus 80%. I mean, they're, they're basically just like... Completely negligible power. So, uh, going back in time, what did that yield in terms of differences? Pretty much nothing. We pretty much saved before we left the planet. I'll add a couple more of these into the into the system. So we are going to come back. We are going to come back here. We're going to come back here. Let's burn all of those just for a little bit of extra generation. Not like it particularly matters. Can you make antimatter rods? I think that I cannot make antimatter rods. I don't even think that I can make antimatter. Should have eaten the diamonds? I should have eaten the diamonds, actually. I should have eaten the diamonds. That might have that might have made all of the difference. That might have made all of the difference. You never know. Chow down on a couple of nice, juicy diamonds. There... The more you know, eh? I do wish that I could have eaten the critical photon, although... Unfortunately, you can eat you can eat diamonds, but you can't eat critical photons. Jeez Louise, the realism of this game. Am I right? All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's do a take two. Let's do a take two. Uh, right, where is my planet? Here we go. Let's aim, target, and fire. It's mostly just because I'm impatient as well. Like I'm, I should have just, I should have just. I should have just taken a slightly longer time to travel across the distance between the planets, but I decided not to. Okay. Truth be told, the upside to not getting stuck on the gas giant is massive. The downside is that I feel a little bit scummy about reloading, but, uh, but truly I think that the upside is definitely way bigger than the, than the downside. Uh, put it that way. Right. Aim for the planet. Target. Fire. Engage the thrusters. Engage the thrusters. A real gamer would just have lived on the gas giant forever. That's true. That's true. That's true. I mean, look. There's there's lessons to be learned here. The 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 stupid lesson that I've that I learned and then immediately forgot. Uh, is that you should always carry deuterium fuel rods. And there is, like, absolutely no reason that I shouldn't be carrying deuterium fuel rods. Also, carrying, uh, carrying orbital collectors. That's a pretty pog thing to carry around casually. So, you know what? I would like to do that, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Nailed it. Okay. See, that was... Almost close to failure as well because we got sucked into the we got sucked into the gravity range of the of the gas giant there, which was a little bit terrifying for a little second. The deuterium fuel rods are, uh, are very very good. In fact, hold on, what am I doing out here? This is not the vicinity that I want to be in. This is a bad place to be. This is a bad place to be. There are surprisingly few sources of fuel out here. Graphite. There ain't even any graphite for me to burn. Uh, give me some fuel. Give me some hydrogen. There we go. Hydrogen. Wonderful. Burn the hydrogen. Beautiful. Okay. The hydrogen will get me through. Get me through the day. Alright. And maybe even allow me to fly a little bit. Easy. Easy fly. Okay. Let's go. Let's go juice hard. You know what they say? Uh, work hard, juice hard. And we stand right in the juice spot. This is the primary juice location right here. Where I'm pretty sure that every, yeah, every single charging point is now, is now working on charging me. Is this the theoretical maximum? Probably not. There's probably a configuration that gives you slightly more juice per second. But this is pretty darn close. This is pretty, this is pretty darn close. All right, and just like that, we're we're pretty much back to we're pretty much back back to normal. Do a three by three grid and then stand in the middle. That sounds pretty sensible. Right, 
yoink the deuterium fuel rods from here. I've had deuterium fuel rods for such a long time, and yet I just haven't been uh, I just haven't been carrying them around as standard. And uh, you know what? Honestly, that's my bad. Okay, I am looking to do a whole bunch of silicon processing, silicon silicon stuff. Let's go and pick up the level two belt because I would really really like to get everything established with a level two with a level two belt uh, on the Hoth. There we go. There we go. Take absolutely everything with me. We've got 100 level 3 sorters, or inserters, should I say. They're actually called sorters, but I, I call them inserters because hashtag factorio, etc. We've got loads of assembly machines that will help us make the processors and also the microcrystalline components. I do need to probably yoink up a few more furnaces, and maybe whilst I'm over at this side of the world, why don't I see if I can pick up a couple of these, a couple of these, and we'll see if we can try and maybe get some additional, oh my goodness, not 400. Right, that's probably overkill, actually. Yeah, let's let's cap that at 400, 400 logistics drones. And 83 logistics vessels. Holy cow, that's incredible. All right, well, I'll take, I'll take a couple. And I guess, again, whilst I'm over here, let's, let's pick up some of our orbital collectors so that I can survive on the, the gas giant for a little while. I feel like even if I was able to land on the gas giant with the orbital collectors, I still probably wouldn't have made it to the equator. The fact that you can only stick down the orbital collectors on the equator is a bit anti-pog, I, I have to be honest. I feel like it's a gas giant, for goodness sake. I, I feel like you should be able to plonk down whatever you want, wherever you want. You know what I mean? Let's uh, add more hydrogen to our machine process. Alrighty. I think, with the exception of perhaps iron, we've got all of the good stuff on our person at the moment. I'm going to delete this critical photon as it's quite literally only occupying space in my inventory for absolutely no reason. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's stack. Crack that in there. Crack that in there. And give me one last stack of iron here. All right. Okay. Now, now here's the difference. Here's the difference between between uh, commuting commuting to Hoth on an empty tank and a full tank. Where's Hoth? I've lost it again. It's, it's right over there. Wonderful. There we go. Let's escape the gravity well and let's, let's punch it. Let's punch it up to full speed. Make sure that we're aiming right at the center of the planet. Also, I feel like I need to go on a an extra system adventure. I need to go... I need to go out with the system again. I'm feeling the urge to travel. Do a little bit of exploration. If I do do some exploration, then I should probably... I should probably consider getting... Uh, getting the next level of either mecha charge level or mecha battery level. Those would both be pretty, pretty darn helpful. Wonderful. Perfect landing. Perfect landing each and every time. Right, so where is... Where is my... No, that's the silicon production. I need this one. This is the interstellar logistics system that I'm after. Kraken. And somehow we're out of power over here. Uh, pourquoi? Is it charge rate? It's almost certainly charge rate. Yeah. Okay. So our yeah, having so many having so many drones here is putting probably a pretty immense strain on the system. Putting a putting a pretty immense strain on the system. It's not a not a problem though. Okay, let's do let's do one of these, two of those. Just because I feel I need them. Uh, let's take a little bit of belt out here. Whap that right in over there. Keep it level 1 belt for now. Although that'll probably change. 
And we got 1,800 level 2 belts. Right, and this is going to be... This is going to be Circuit Assembly here. It's going to be Circuit City. That's such a horrific placement. Uh, go, and then we're going to have... If we have Circuit City, then we got to have uh, Processor Alley. Or something of that ilk. Something something in the same vein of, of Silicon Valley, but, you know, more original. Processor Park is a good one. I like that. I like that a lot. Go. Okay, and... Bring this down here. I think... I think this should all... This should all be good. My mom told me to avoid the processor alley after dark. Well... She wasn't wrong. This is... This is gonna be a pretty, uh... Pretty cutthroat production area. That's the dream, anyway. All right, let's produce, let's produce, uh, produce circuit boards. Uh, right, so I think that we could do with getting, I mean, we could, first and foremost, we could do with just getting way more, way more assembly machines that are producing microcrystalline components. There we go. Put more strain on our power network, why don't you, Potato? Alright, the, the belt is gonna go... The belt is gonna go a little bit squint for a second. Belt the wrong way. Oh, I belted... Uh, this is gonna go... This is gonna go down here. This is gonna go down here because we're eventually gonna make... Uh, we're eventually gonna make processors down here. That's the plan, anyway. That's the plan. So, here's my idea. Here is my idea. Here is my idea. Let's continue to build down. Continue to build down this way. This is almost certainly going to be too much... Too much... Uh, too much capacity requirement for one belt, but that's fine. go. You know, a lot of the spaghetti issues, I think, would be solved in this game if there was the humble blueprint. The humble blueprint would make uh, would make a big old difference. It's coming. It's coming as well. That's the thing. It's happening. Right, so, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a unique setup here. We're gonna see if we can try and obviously get all of these to make microcrystalline components. It's the same same requirement that I put on all of these machines. But the output belt is going to face downwards because we're going to make processors over here. That's the plan anyway. Go. Whoops. Yeah, also, this is almost certainly never going to work, but... We'll see. You never know. We might be able to make. Uh, we might be able to get away with uh, with putting in a level three belt here. Okay, good stuff thus far. All right, sort out the output. Okay. So what we can what we can always do if this if this belt turns out to be inadequate for our for our needs we can always just get another output from the interstellar logistics system and just plumb it in halfway here because there is no there is no you know absolute necessity that needs that this needs to be all on uh, 
on one single belt. In fact, it probably would be... In fact, it would definitely be just fine as, as two, but... Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it as one for now, just as a... Just as a little test, I guess. And if we start seeing all of these little yellow... Uh, these little yellow icons indicating that something's gone wrong, then we'll... We'll take remedial action. Alright, so... Next thing that I want to do, I want to free up a little bit of space... ...for... ...circuits. Alright. Processor Park. Here we come. Let's do... Let's do it then this way. So we can continue to extend this this line down if we need more microcrystalline components. But for now, we'll just yoink this across here. And we'll get this linked up. Again, doesn't need to look doesn't need to look good. Just needs to be functional. I mean, I say that, but it does need to at least have a a basic level of efficiency. Right. I am not entirely sure how this is all going to stack up, because obviously I'm using mostly level 1... Mostly level 1 machines here. Assembly machines. I think that we should have enough... Enough inserters to make this all work. But the dream is, the dream is that this is going to give us more processors than in my wildest dreams. Uh, the reality is probably going to be somewhat substantially more disappointing. Right, belt that across there, and then throw down a interstellar logistics station. Again, putting a colossal strain on all of our power, but there is precious little that we can do about that. Interstellar Logistics Station is, of course, offset for good measure. Oh, I'm out of juice. How did I manage to run out of juice? That's embarrassing. Okay, well, you know what? Deuterium fuel rods are kept on my kept on my person for just this reason. Definitely haven't gone without them before. Definitely haven't got lost in space without uh, deuterium fuel rods on my person. No, that would be daft. That would be daft. Okay, so that gives us what? A, probably a terrific power headache. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Huge power headache. Absolutely monstrous power headache. Not even funny how, how little power we have here. But, everything else aside, we got processors. We got processors. And frankly, isn't that the most important thing? The It's, it's kind of twisted, right? It's kind of twisted. The power satisfaction is entirely twisted by the fact that we've added an additional interstellar logistics station. I kind of don't like how much it sucks up. I mean, you can only lower the max charging power to 30 megawatts, which is which is kind of kind of crazy. Uh, import deuterium and build reactors for power. It's a remarkably good point. Either deuterium or hydrogen, but hydrogen has got less uh, energy in it. Let's clear and reset that. We need to do processors, local supply. Yeah, fine. Deuterium fuel rods. Are they part of our? Are they part of our system now? Let me check. Deuterium fuel rods. Remote demands. Will that work? I don't think... I don't think that they're in... They're definitely in an intraplanetary. I don't know if they're in an interstellar logistics uh, hub. Logistics station. This is looking good, by the way. 50% power satisfaction is... Very, very bad, in fact. Absolutely dreadful. Really, really terrible. Uniquely, uniquely awful. But it's not the end of the world. And in fact, this provides us a great opportunity. I think, yeah, I think mini mini fusion power plants here would be would be excellent. And in fact, we've already got it all plumbed up, so why don't we just do it? Let's let's freaking go. Here we go, deuterium fuel rods. As long as we're able to throw down enough mini fusion power plants, then we can make this work. 
Alrighty. I can actually provide the... I can provide the stimulus to get this going. Whether I want to or not? Probably an intelligent question, given that if I do provide the stimulus to get this all up and running, we will not have uh, enough fuel to get home. Uh, dedicated deuterium rod production planet. We can do that right now, actually. Deuterium rods, what are they? Deuterium, super magnetic, super magnetic rings, and what was the, what was the last thing that we needed? Titanium alloy. Yeah, the, the thing is, is that I think... I think that we might be able to handle all of the production locally. I think handling the production locally is still okay. Like, I, I don't think that it's uh, particularly difficult to do. It's just a case of hooking it up and making sure that it all works. Too close to another wind turbine? What are you talking about, video game? There we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the number of processor assembly uh, things we have here. I really sincerely think that this is gonna make a huge difference. I really really hope that it does anyway. All right, continue building around the planet. We're going on a a whistle stop tour around the planet by adding loads of assembly machines. I think what's key is scale, more than anything else. It's all about it's all about quantity as opposed to quality, which is brilliant because I, uh, I'm i not good at the quality part, but I'm acceptable at the quantity part. Right. Lots of, lots of things to be, to be getting, to be getting on with. I'm going to build some more, some more level three inserters. We are no doubt going to be given more power issues by all of this stuff that I'm building right here, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah, so covering covering the uh, the equator with solar panels, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited about the prospect of that. To be honest, I really want to use I want to use the orbital mechanics a little bit more than I'm currently using. I.e., I want to have ray receivers at the uh, at the peak of all of my planets. I want to do... I want to do all of that. I want to do all of that sort of stuff. Solar panels on the equator. Uh, EM... Uh, EM guns. Uh, EM rail ejectors on the, on the equator of every planet. I mean, this is where we've got the... EM rail ejectors at the moment. Uh, on the equator of this planet, which is pretty cool. So these are the things that are firing the solar sails into configuration around our... Around our whole system. All right, that's looking good. That's looking good. Look at the node progress that we're actually making. Holy cow, I haven't really taken a step back to ad admire how quickly this is being built. It may not look quick, but we've started working on double the nodes that we're usually, or that we were working on uh, not too long ago. Right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna live dangerously. Here you go, video game. Have my deuterium fuel rods. Have my deuterium fuel rods. That will at least get a good couple of couple of additional uh, machines up and running, up and powered. Okay, we need level 3 sorters, which we do have a couple of. There we go. Let's sort out the outputs. Then we'll sort out the inputs. I think we might just have enough. And if we don't have enough, we'll be blooming close. 23. Yeah, I think we might we might have enough. Okay. Use God mode. So what actually is God mode? I've, I've heard a lot of people chat about God mode, but uh, what does it actually do? All right, where does that leave us? Leaves us four short. That's fine. That's fine. All right, 69% power supply. Of course it had to be. Of course it had to be. It couldn't be anything but 69% power supply. <laughs> okay, microcrystalline components, as suspected, still being highly problematic. Um, cool. 
So we need... We need more silicon here. Yeah, kind of to be expected. Kind of to be expected. This is this is what we're after. Oh, so it's like... Uh, it's like unlimited reach in Factorio. I, I see. I see. I see. Very, very cool. Alright, so this, this needs to get somewhat upgraded. But we can worry about that a little bit later. I think for now... For now, we're good. All right, I'll, I'll check out God Mode in just a sec. I'll check out God Mode in just a sec. So this is... This is okay. We just need to... We need to link up the Deuterium Rods at home. I say at home, like I belong in this galaxy. Or in this solar system, I should say. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice short distance between the planets here. Man, traveling with Deuterium Fuel Rods, it's... It's like traveling in a luxury car. It's so nice to get around places. All right. Gotcha. All right, I'll check out God Mode in a little bit. I'll check out God Mode in a little bit. If nothing else, it would be good to... It would be good to at least see how it works. Perfect landing every time. All right. So, how is the power satisfaction over here? 100% power satisfaction. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So... This is actually where the deuterium is made, which is grand. Looks like the deuterium is being made at an acceptable pace. Yep, pretty happy with that. We do need a few more a few more of these super magnetic rings in order to make the deuterium fuel rods, but that's that's fine. Uh, deuterium fuel rods are currently only consumed in the construction of the shuttles, which has been going apparently pretty darn well this this whole time. Uh, so that's great. How many deuterium fuel rods do we have? We have enough, but we don't have tons. We don't have tons. And now we're running into Dyson Sphere component issues. I suspect that the issue with the Dyson Sphere components is... It's the solar sails. That's shocking. It's not, in fact, the processors. How very unique. Okay, we'll check out the solar sail production in just a second. But for now... For now, upgrading, for now, upgrading the, for now, upgrading the, uh, the area that makes the fuel rods, these things, would be, would be a good, uh, a good priority. It's pretty easy to do, actually. There we go, there we go. I almost feel like I could straight up burn the... The naked, uh, the naked deuterium. Is that gonna work? That's, ah, uh, gosh darn. Sometimes I hate, sometimes I, I hate the fact that this world is, is curved. Why can't it be flat? It would just be so much easier. No, gosh darn it, potato. Right, deuterium fuel rod. Copy, paste, paste. There we go, now we're talking. What did I need for additional... For additional bits and bobs. Okay. There we go. A uh, power pole with space for a belt underneath would be super nice. Yeah, it would be really, really nice. Or if you just, like, automatically built through the power pole, it would be nice if the game moved it for you. I know that might get irritating, but uh, I would super value something like that. Joink that. Let's go pick some more. What did I need? I needed uh, inserters, actually. Shockingly enough. And then it's engines that we need, and it's iron that we need from the... From the engines. Okay, well, there's iron here, for I know for a fact. There's not even iron there. Wow, we've got a... We got a lot of stuff happening here. There we go. Add 38 drones. That's going to absolutely tank. Absolutely tank the power in that station. But frankly, it doesn't matter as long as stuff gets done. Doesn't matter as long as stuff gets done. Give me some iron that we can use to manually construct. 
some level three inserters. Again, like given that this is a pretty important area, I kind of want to make sure that it's the it's the best tech, best tech that we can really get. For that reason, I should probably get some graphene and sort this out. Sort this out so that we get some better uh, some better inserters. Graphene. We got plenty of spicy ice. We got oh, we got ah oh, everything is backed up on hydrogen again. How do we get rid of hydrogen? I feel like if we if we have too much hydrogen, we got too much. Then we get too much uh, too much graphite. Then we got too much hydrogen. Then we got too much graphite. Then we got too much hydrogen. Then we got too much graphite. Even have a a little intermediary set up here uh, to store our hydrogen. So let me plonk down more of these. I sincerely thought that I was brushing off my problems. We can increase deuterium production and we probably should do we probably should do something deuterium related. Uh, also, how much Okay, I'm running out of refined oil. I'm running out of refined oil. I mean, we can just yeah, we can destroy this tower. We can destroy this tower. It's, it's not the not super difficult for us to do. Let me actually let me reroute this a little bit. Angle too wide. Yeah. At least I have an area to output this. I don't love it, but it's fine. Okay. Deleting the tanks, rebuilding the tanks, that's a very potato thing. That's a very potato thing to do, and I am immediately drawn to that. However, I kind of must confess that that doesn't really give us a long-term solution. And actually... Oh no, this is this is full. Yeah, this is totally full of hydrogen. Okay, I was a way to say this, this is completely empty of hydrogen, but uh, as it turns out, no. It just visually... Visually doesn't look like it. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Let's go hydrogen. Let's go. Okay. Uh, how am I feeding hydrogen to the x-ray cracking? Through a very, very unique patented system of highly efficient uh, sorter prioritization. So you have a level 2 sorter that goes to the back, which transfers the hydrogen to the next oil refinery. And uh, therefore, it acts first before the level 1 inserters. Actually, reasonably happy with how that all works. It's my proudest accomplishment. Sincerely, yeah. Uh, you know what I should also do? You know what I should also do? I should throw in planetary logistics system. Do we have interplanetary over here somewhere? No, this needs to be... This needs to be a... Interplanetary, doesn't it? Yeah, so supply deuterium, demand, uh, demand uh, deuterium, uh, demand supermagnetic rings. Yeah, okay, so this needs to be supermagnetic rings. Local demand. And then, ah, sure, we'll just use level 2 belt, it's fine. And then this is deuterium. Local supply, remote supply. Excellent. Let's throw in a couple of drones here. A couple of, couple of drones of all variety. Local supply, remote supply. Excellent. I'm really happy with how I'm really happy with how the daisy chaining worked, to be honest. It's one of the it's one of the areas where I feel like it's it's actually worked pretty darn efficiently as opposed to the usual bump that I uh, that I come up with so yeah I'll, I'll say that I'm I'm very I'm very happy with how it worked out uh, this also needs to get redone slightly doesn't it because this is kind of garbage uh, gotta do what did I say that I need to do I needed to get an assembly machine level two but I need graphene for that we don't even need we don't even need that many oh. the fact that this has been built on a fault line is so frustrating 
Yeah, this is nasty. It's nasty. It's nasty. I should also root the deuterium into here, just so that we can get rid of it as well. Because then that'll allow us to get more more hydrogen processed through the system. Through the, uh, through the fractionators and also the mini, what are they called? Miniature particle collider. Yeah. The particle colliders themselves aren't miniature. I presume because they're colliding miniature particles rather than the, rather than actually commenting on the size of the particle collider. Right. So that's the, that's the titanium alloy. Fine. Then we'll get the... Fractionators are much more efficient. Fractionators are way more efficient. However, to be honest, if we've got ample hydrogen, we probably want to be using miniature... Uh, miniature... Miniature particle collision facilities. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, now, outputs. Let's... Let's get the output. So right up here, this is excess deuterium. We'll throw this into into here. Excess deuterium. Where is it? Deuterium, excellent. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's get a fast inserter in there. And we should be fine as long as we're able to get Ooh, this is pretty horrible, but it's okay. Let's delete that. Throw this down here, and this is going to be the output. And this output is going to come right around here and into the center. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. This... Was, oh, man, look at that. Okay, that's not actually my belt crime. That's a, it's a planetary belt crime. Let's... Let's have a little look-see here. In fact, this can just be... This can just be taken back. Yeah, just remove, remove this. Change it around. Change it around. Right, deuterium, fuel rods, excellent. Let's get the output sorted, and then we can get to repositioning the electrical facilities and whatnot, if uh, if we need to. Right, so that goes in there. So that's going to allow us to chain additional mini fusion reactors together here, because we took a couple up. That's fine. There we go. Okay, so excess deuterium is now flowing into the interstellar system, which is good. It means that that's going to be uh, going to be just fine. This should also probably be upgraded so that this is no longer a crappy level one. There we go. All right. I don't know what I don't know what the conversion ratio is here. I think this is this is level two belts here going going around the fractionator loop. So it's it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent chance that eventually all of this hydrogen is gonna be turned into into deuterium. Alright, and now it's just super magnetic rings which are the problem. But they will cease to be the problem at some point in the future, I hope. And where did my deuterium fuel rods go? Let's charge up. Yeah, it's basically however fast you can throw them through the loop. However fast you can throw them through the loop, the better. It's a pretty it's a pretty nice it's a pretty nice feature to be honest. I do like the fact that it's a percentage chance thing. Alright, look at that. Graphite has returned and graphite is back in in force. 100% power satisfaction. Love to see it. Really, really love to see it. Halfway through level, or almost halfway through level uh, level 3 Dyson Sphere stress testing. Very, very cool indeed. Let's check up on our... Check up on our processor production area. 
So pretty uniquely, we're still ordering microcrystalline components, and we're still producing, still producing processors pretty darn quickly. I wonder, is there like a, is there like a ba is there like a break in my power in my power grid? I just want to check because I just when I just checked like a moment ago, we were a hundred percent power production. Eighty-eight. I just want to make sure that I'm not accidentally on two power grids here. Oh no, it's just because all of my... Uh, it's just because all of my nuclear power reactors have just stopped, stopped working. Or at least some of them. Some of them has. Okay. This is all looking fine. All of the all of the graphene facilities are up and running. The spicy ice has never been has never been flowing as as much as it has been recently, which is great. Silicon, we've got a lot of silicon on order, but I suspect probably not enough silicon uh, is being produced at the other end of this process. I will say though, everything seems to be everything seems to be looking okay. Everything seems to be looking okay. A couple of adjustments here, there, and everywhere, but that's that's fine. Processors are still required in pretty large quantities, but but that's okay. I'm going to put this on remote demand. Yeah, so if I remotely demand processors and then also local supply them, I'm going to add some more drones here. There we go. And that should... That should yield more results. Okay, so the processors are going to be brought in. They're going to be shipped via drone to all of the different areas that we require them to be to be worked on. Uh, we've now managed to increase our quantum chip processing capability, which is good. But for some obscene reason, now the issue seems to be with plane filters and optical crystals or casimir crystals. For real, hydrogen is the problem now? Oh, video game. I... I... I don't... <laughs> I don't need extra hydrogen. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating, dude. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Here's the solution to this problem. Here's the solution to this problem. It's not... It's not dealing with this issue locally. It's just placing more... It's just placing more orbital collectors. It's not even a ship problem. That's the crazy thing, is our orbital collectors are not dealing are not dealing with enough stuff. Look, we got six we got six vessels that are just sitting atop the atop the logistics system, waiting for a call. Um it's Oh gosh, that's frustrating, isn't it? That's frustrating. So we either need to move more hydrogen across here locally, which we can do. It's no big deal at all uh, to to do. Uh, but it would probably cost rather a lot in power. I think the better alternative, the more favorable, the more favorable situation is uh, is to go and just place down some more of these orbital collectors. Yeah, I I would like a, like an overflow valve. Like an overflow valve would be would be kind of nice. I guess you can make an overflow valve kind of like manually if you want to. Like that's not necessarily a problem. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Hold on, if I take, if I take, what am I thinking here? What am I thinking here? Yeah, I think, I think splitter with a filter is actually exactly what I'm thinking. So at the moment we're prioritizing up here. I think what we do now, what we do now is we do a splitter with a filter right here. So this is going to be this is going to be super inefficient for the old uh, for the old power but frankly that's that's not my problem that's somebody else's problem am i able to s to plonk down a big old a big old uh, a big old thingy here i totally am all right so this is important this is very very important 
We need to prioritize going forward at all costs. At all costs, priority is forward. Hydrogen, local supply, boom. This this belt better be better be level three. Give me some graphene because this belt's this belt's getting as fast as is feasibly possible. As fast as feasible. There we go. Alright, so. This is this is the place. Let's add all of that. Good stuff. Local supply. A lot of charge. A lot of charge. Min load of drones. Let's put that up to 100. Because I don't want to... I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste the uh, power when I don't necessarily have to. Let's get this upgraded. Good stuff. Let's get this upgraded. There we go. Full belt. Now we're talking. Let's get this upgraded too. Full belt. And let's get this upgraded as well. Because we almost certainly will be able to deal with a huge amount of hydrogen here. Okay. So this is almost certainly going to mean that we are, yep, starting to see the amount of hydrogen that we have in the system decrease. Which will, of course, become another problem at some point later on in the future when we don't have enough hydrogen in the system. Just mark my words, we're, we're waiting for that exact occurrence to occur. Uh, and it'll happen, you know. It'll it'll definitely happen. Uh, in the meantime, we need to reconnect this graphite belt over here, which is an easy thing to do. We uh, we set that back up around there. This is not a super essential graphite belt, but it's, it's you know, important. It's important, because we, we need to make sure that all of these x-ray cracking facilities are all working at the same time. Otherwise, everything just you know, falls to pieces. Hydrogen supply. Wait, yoink more drones in here. Yoink more drones in here, and then... The most important part of all of this is that we need to stick... Is that we need to stick this facility on local demand. Local demand and remote demand as well. Can you believe that? That's how hungry this area is for hydrogen. What is it, 12? It's 12 hydrogen for a Casimir crystal? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Oh my goodness, look at the swarm. Look at the swarm of hydrogen drones that are coming in here. Wowzers, that's uh that's something. Okay, well, I think that's going to make uh I think that's going to make the difference, to be honest. It's very exciting. I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very cool. And also, we could just do with upgrading this belt up to level 2, so that we are constantly stacked on hydrogen. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. Local demands. Let's leave that at 100. Sure. Alright, so that's going to be loads and loads of uh, plain filter production. This is going to absolutely explode our, our quantum chip production. And also, you know what? Let's double down and let's also place these freaking these freaking orbital collectors as well. There is, there is no reason not to. There is absolutely no reason not to. Uh, the single Mark I sorter among the Mark II and sorters fast enough. Hold on. What, here? Uh, yes, it should be. But actually, now that I look at it, oh, this belt hasn't been upgraded up here. I, I was wondering why this uh, why this wasn't outputting optical crystals at a super fast pace. There we go. That's that's much better. So that should be that should be fine. We don't require many optical grading crystals. What is it? Six. Looks to be okay. Yeah, looks to be at an okay pace, which is grand. This is the, okay. This is working much much better. This is working much much better now. Very, very, very cool. Everything is looking good. Everything is looking good now. I mean, it was never really looking bad to begin with, but now it's just consistently fantastic. And that is hopefully going to absorb an inordinate amount of hydrogen. The power, the power network may be looking a little bit dodgy, but no, apparently it's it's looking pretty good. How's the Dyson Sphere looking? How's the Dyson Sphere looking? Not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Good progress on the... On the solar panel. Uh, here's a question. When are we able to start utilizing this power? Is this power... Is this power only utilizable once the entirety of the sphere is built? Right, there we go. 
we get access to it now. That's that's very exciting. That's very exciting indeed. All right, so this is all looking fine. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we probably want to get these upgraded to like assembly machine level threes because we have now, yeah, all of these, all of these machines that are constructing the plane filters with the titanium glass. That's that's working fast enough. Excellent. Okay, Casimir crystals looking good. Quantum chip production also looking good. That's three. That's three. That's three. Uh, three machines that are all working at the same time, which is kind of remarkable. I'm I'm delighted at how successful this whole thing is. Is looking now. To be honest, this is great. So this means more green science production, which is excellent. How do we how do we not have graviton beads here? How the heck do we not have Graviton Beads? Do we really not have enough Graviton Beads coming in? I thought we had loads of Graviton Beads, but perhaps I was uh, sorely mistaken. Alright, we do need to fix a few things on Hoth, but for the most part, we're, we're fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so Graviton Beads are made over here. And it's Deuterium, and it's Particle Canisters that are the problem. Boy, there's always something. There's always something. There's always something. To be honest, I really didn't find that green was my worst science to make. The one that I sort of found the most irritating was... Um, was yellow. Yellow was the most irritating for me anyway. What's the issue here? Iron. Okay, this is... this is fine. This is actually completely fine. Put this down. There we go, and then we just do iron demand. Uh, maybe we have a couple of drones spare somewhere. Okay. Yellow requires lots of oil until you get the organic crystals up and running. Until you get your your naturally produced organic crystals, and then when I did that, I mean just. Everything just sort of magically improved in a lovely way. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for... Hold on. This area over here. That's the one. Demand and... Not many. Ten drones. Do we not import... Do we not import uh, iron somewhere? I thought we did import iron. Apparently not. Apparently not. Also, this is one of the first veins that we have run out of. Cool. Also run out of veins over there. We've got one last vein here. Uh, five crude oil into ten refineries per six labs, making yellow. Uh, our yellow is a very, very simple process. It's very, very simple. So, what do we got here? We got the organic crystals coming out, coming out of the interplanetary system over here. Also, this is on... Let me yoink in a couple of drones. Maybe this is part of the problem, we just don't have enough... Don't have enough iron? Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it comes in here, we stick in some titanium. Very, very easy combination. We have diamonds, which are just compressed graphite. Very, very easy. They're combined in the they're combined in the labs. I will say, getting the getting the organic crystals to be mineable, as long as you can jump out with the system, very, very easy to do. In fact, very, very easy to do. And absolutely worth doing at that. Absolutely worthwhile. Probably one of the most worthwhile things that I ended up doing. Right. Uh, I have cleared up a couple of veins. A couple of vein miners. Mining machines. We probably don't need any additional mining machines. But I should get some more... I should get some more iron processing. 
they're pretty ex yeah they're pretty expensive they're pretty expensive before you get the organic crystal production right takes up a lot of resources takes up a lot of resources okay so we need we need more iron we need more iron in a couple of places for sure we need more particle canisters as well um, but that's that's fine I guess you look maybe 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 it's not a lot maybe it is a lot I I found I found green easier to do than I did uh, than I did yellow that's that's my sort of personal that's my personal take. 